Good morning, three cushion fans from Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt. It's the final day of the World Championships. We have only three matches left and there will be good ones. We're going to watch Zanetti Joklu first, then later on we're going to watch Jaspers play Horn and then the final. And I'm once again joined by the man himself. Introductions not needed, Torbjörn Blomdahl. Hello, viewers. Torbjörn, I think it's fair to say that these four guys have played extremely well to get this far. Yes, and I was just thinking about that. Surprisingly, uh, by the way, look at this lag. Choklu wins because he's almost frozen. Otherwise, he would have lost. Uh, mm. Yes, uh, surprisingly, it was not Dick Jaspers who, who, who was the best player in the semi-finals. I think all the other three semi-final winners showed enormous strength. Horn was exceptional. And Marco has been, has been fantastic throughout the whole tournament. He creates runs out of everything, so... He also doesn't make too many zeros. One. And Mora Joklu gets us underway. First point of the first semi-final. Tricky little thing here, needs to hit red ball perfectly to avoid all possible kisses. Normally he does. Just like that. Two. And this will probably be perfectly okay. Red ball a little bit wrong in the corner. We want it to be close to one of the cushions, not like that. Maybe he's the underdog of the four, Murat Joklu. He has the smoothest stroke of all these four guys. And a fantastic temperament. Doesn't seem to like this one. Now it's far away. Two. But this will not be easy. First chance for the Italian. Sunglasses again, like he wore yesterday. It's not a gimmick, he says. His eyes are sensitive to the light, and this is just to make life easier for him. Also, if you, if we get a overview, look at this shot, by the way. My goodness, he made that look easy. And he doesn't <sighs> score. What a nice try and safety. Really poor luck. Great shot. Yes, if we get a, if we get an overview, look at the whole arena you can see that there are some spotlights uh, directed onto the players faces just so that we can get a good look at the player sitting at the sitting in the chair otherwise his face would have been completely dark now in this image and those those spotlights are pretty pretty sharp so maybe i should start wearing sunglasses too good job by Joku solves that problem you said he made marco made that shot look easy and how about this yeah shows that he understands exactly how the cushions react using a little bit reverse english i think i once wrote about choklu he's so calm it's scary and that's This is not oh so I good. feel about him. Oh, but he gets is he lucky? He gets lucky. Two. Yeah, that's such a thing. Can decide these tight matches. All, all four players in the semi-final are, are pretty equally strong with a little edge for Zanetti and Jaspers, of course. But you know, players in in good shape, they come to the semi-final. They will probably not play bad. It's been a while since uh, Choklu has won a big title. He was the European champion. Was that 2005, Torbjörn? I think. No, European champion 2005. Two. You're sitting next to him, so 
That I know. In that case, it was 2004. <laughs> you have to rest your case there. We were in Ölü Deniz in, in Turkey when he won. He was absolutely impressive, that yes. tournament. And he yes. beat Marco Zanetti in a five set, I think 15-14 in the last set. And then it was a big surprise that he won because he didn't have the reputation he has today. So he was a dark horse and all of a sudden he was European champion. Sometimes struggling with form, but all in all, he, yeah, he has a, the most fantastic stroke, and he can always rely on that. Even, you know, on, on a bad day, his stroke is still perfect, so he can get out of trouble easily. Good shot here from Marco. Red ball was very far away. Still, he hit it perfectly. That one needed the bite on the second rail. He was worried about it a little bit. I wasn't worried at all. It looked perfect all the way. Look at this spinning, but not too much, so it will not spin on the third. That's a trick players use. Make sure that there are there is enough spin for two cushions, but not for the third. Something for everyone to practice at home. It's, it's a nice little trick. long this one yeah he's already in his chair that was no good it's always a question how many mistakes can you afford like Tashdemir, he didn't even make his first mistake yesterday and he was already 20 zero behind <laughs> so i mean some some few mistakes can be very can expensive can be a cruel game and then in the other match uh Buri and jaspers both made lots of mistakes but they've made the other guy's life so miserable with the positions they left on the table. It's just inevitable to make a bunch of mistakes. It was really a struggle, yes. And this match still has to get going. Some chances here, both players not taking advantage. This was not easy. He needed to carry a little bit red ball that changes the amount of English that your ball is carrying, so those things are never easy. You have to kind of imagine what happens with your cue ball after the impact on the first object ball. That one didn't really spin off the second cushion. But Marco is a good tactician. Look at this. Can you line them up better than this? Three balls on the line. Horrible position. Maybe a millimeter too deep in his cue ball for that shot, that last shot. He's left nothing for the Turk. Yeah, he's left a nice, nice straight line, and those are the most awful positions. And maybe he can play cross table. No, he decides he can't. Can he go up and down, short, short, long, short to the red? Looks kissy. I, I think he can, but uh, the yellow will be also there that's when he that's touches the third and fourth cushion. That's the problem. I think he has no better option. No, it looks like he's going for that. See what yellow does. It's down there. It's going to happen. Good shot, no yeah. point. It was a very good shot, but what can you do? The kiss predicted can't by Can't do Torbjörn. much about it. You can have a second look here. You have to let it go across and then just hope that it does not disturb you. Many times in, in our game we have to go for a shot, which we know have almost no chance, but <laughs> there is nothing else. At least there's nothing better. Yeah, there was another shot, uh, short, long, short, with the other English. 
This time, yeah, he's judged the corner correctly. Gr great shot. I like that one. Looked so confident. Just a little, little push into the cue ball with the cue, and that was enough. If Mua Choklu would win the world title, it would be his first. If Marco Zanetti were to win, it would be his third. Good shot here, but <coughs> just didn't get it. And here is a free point, isn't it, Bert? Well, if you say that twice around to the short chance has no kisses, I instantly believe you because that's what he's probably going to play. I will not say there are no kisses. I will say that there are lots of kisses here, but lots I, think of kisses. I think Murat is maybe, maybe not the best in the world in avoiding kisses, but he's pretty good. I think he knows his stuff. It's here. The oh. dane. Yeah, okay, he didn't, didn't manage this yeah, time. That's what they call the commentator's yeah. curse. If you say a guy is good at something, he... Yeah, look at the yellow here. It goes into the long cushion. If yeah. it's if it would have taken the short cushion first, he would have been safe, but that was not easy. I did say that he's not the best in the world in avoiding kisses. He's pretty good, but pretty good. there are guys that do that Even a little better. bit better. We're looking at one here, for example. He really studies the path of the object ball and Maybe the best in the world uh, on avoiding kisses, One. even on high speed shots where the second object ball makes 12 meters or, or more in distance. Is that possible, by the way, to go 12 meters? How many mm. meters was this shot, by the way? I think if you. How is your Pythagoras? If you cross the table diagonally, it's more than three meters, so 12 sounds absolutely possible. It's way over three meters. Yes. So uh, when it comes back, it's like already six yes. at least. So 12 should be no problem. Or yeah, 12, 9, 10, 10, 12. Yeah, not much more than 12 meters. This is going to take the outside of the white and leave him this horrible diagonal. We said yesterday these tumbler shots, short, long, short, they are okay if you can hit them in a positive manner, load them up with English, half ball, three quarter ball. They become increasingly difficult if you have to use a thin hit on the second ball. Twice as difficult. Ooh, thin hit there, maybe too thin. Very, very good effort there. Didn't want the backup, of course, he wanted to be ever so slightly longer. A little wry smile from Zanetti. And a ticky attempt from Murachoklu. Which he makes, but super thin. We are going to do a little improvising here because Torbjorn has stepped away from the table for a second and I am joined by the double world record holder, Mr. Martin Horn. Martin, oh. congratulations on your fabulous match yesterday. And I was able to tell you that your run of 20 and your match of 50 and 12 innings are both world records. How do you feel? Yeah, hello Bert, hello to all the fans at the screens, I'm happy to be here and joining a uh, little bit the first semi-final to watch and then to prepare um, for my game in a few minutes. Um,
sure I feel good. It was a fantastic game. It was. And um, looking forward to semi final with Dick. I think your two weeks have been very successful. Your second week even more so than the first. And it was a hard road because we remember your tough victory over Dani Sanchez. Very exciting last 10 minutes to that match. And things went crescendo from there. Oh, oh that's a thin hit, but he's made it. You get stronger in the tournament sometimes. You've won two World Cups. Can you feel that flow, that good state of mind where you know you're getting better? Yes, I, I feel more and more the table, the conditions. And um, the more games I play, like in New York when we play many games, yes. I always feel comfortable. And um, yeah, I, I try my best. And uh, I will enjoy myself. Like yesterday was an unbelievable game. I feel directly well from the start. F making high run 20. Okay, you cannot plan this. I planned to start good because I know Typhoon, a uh, fantastic player. And you have to play your best if you want to have a chance. And um, this is what I try also with the where this dick in a in one hour and a half so let's see what will happen but i'm i'm ready to fight and i'm ready for more i think you are martin and we wish you the best of luck thank you and greetings to all my fans at the screen in the internet keep your fingers crossed and uh, we will see thank you so much germany is watching you martin bye Hello. bye thank, thank you, you. A very positive Martin Horn, who was, of course, happy with his performance yesterday. How could you not be? It if was you like make a 15 whirl and 12. What? Like a whirlwind. Just storming across poor Typhoon. And he sort of beat Typhoon at his own game, because Typhoon is, of course, the guy who always makes high runs. So what do you do when you play a guy like that? You win the lag and you run 20. Perfect. You mentioned in your short interview with Martin that uh, yeah, he has been playing well throughout the two tournaments. And I would like to mention that he had to struggle a lot because the balls were really not his friends. Absolutely. Many of his matches were real struggles with almost without any clear positions and he fought through that and suddenly yesterday everything opened up and and then he was ready to to make all the easy points too that's something you earn and he's such a yeah he's such a humble humble guy and always always very very nice and polite and correct and it's a great sportsman and so is Murat Nachichoklu, who has a bit of the bad luck that Martin Horn had in many matches. He goes through the hole here, yeah. as we have seen in Martin's matches many times, finding that smallest of gaps. It's horrible, but you have to learn how to live with it as a billiard player, because it's going to keep happening to you all your life. Marco you can always avoid all the gaps. Marco playing this with reverse English just a little that's a brilliant shot look at the position brave there to try to play it slowly and stay close to the white tickies you always risk being too slow and just hit the red a little bit too full and cue ball just dies these are the little shots maybe he is if not one of the best the very best in playing this shot and staying eight centimeters away from the red after the shot. This has a little bit more speed, but always in contact with the red, so all the options. Gives himself another short angle here. 
very important to bring the white up so that you have a chance to use that as first object ball in the next shot. Now, in case people wonder about the word world record I used for Martin's run of 20, there are, of course, different world records. And this category we're talking about is matches and runs made in a world championship. As we all know, the recognized high run is 28. But this run of 20 by Martin Horn is the highest run made in a world championship. So that's a world record. Something's happening. Little discussion between Marco Zanetti and the referee. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. There's probably not not some noise, but lack of noise. I think there's no music. Usually there's some soft music. Yeah, the good thing about soft music is it drowns out the voices. It allows people to talk. So you need a little bit of background music. Absolute quiet is not good in a billiard room. Again, another example, three balls in the middle of the table. This is where he is extremely dangerous. Here is where he scores his, his never-ending runs. Never-ending, I mean, eights and nines and tens and elevens and stuff. He, he makes all the time. Manages to keep Keep position, very smart player. Let's see what he does with the white here. Yeah, this time he has to let it just trickle down to the corner. That means he can't use white. that ball for much in the next shot, so needs to be good. On the red. And On the red, yes, and he, and he is. is. He might just do the do the best of it. Now he places the, the, uh, the white in the corner, but so nicely that he still has all the options here. For six cushions of the red, but red will be pretty wild here. Needs to find a path for that one. Until and now there it's okay. It goes to the corner, needs to be long. Let's and see not what the red does here. And here is the kiss yeah that is unlucky not that he misses the shot he had to he had to have known that that is a risk but what did he leave that is the bad luck had a brief chat with dick jaspers this morning at breakfast and he admitted his his form is not not perfect struggling little bit and also I, I asked him about uh, you remember the shot yesterday maybe the viewers and listeners remember too he played a shot short long short long with high speed and I asked him if he wanted to to play at the on the big long backup he said no 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 the, with the with the object ball frozen on the rail like that high up in the long cushion I I didn't try so he really went for short long short long yes. and came as pretty close so as we s as we suspected And I also I also asked him the question about uh, the uh, energy management of his opponent, and he also he also thought that, uh, or he said he said that Jeremy admitted after the match that he was kind of empty. Yes. So he wrote that on his Facebook ah. page. He said I was lacking energy. I was my battery was empty. So then my my question to to you is. It's his own fault, isn't it? He could have used less energy, or couldn't he? It's not in his nature. Bury's nature is to give a hundred percent for every shot and you know dedicate himself to the match. Yes, I think when he, if he loses, if he uses less energy when he plays, I think maybe he can't play. I mean, yes, to his up to his normal level, no. has it's to play like that. We're all different. 
that's how he is. I would be so tempted to play double kiss on the red here. Just short, long, long with that nice white ball there in the corner. This one on a frozen red. Good shot. Very good. Oh. Amateurs don't like playing balls that are frozen. You see here, yeah, red is almost frozen. Amateurs are, are afraid of a double kiss there, but they are forgetting that cushions, rubber is soft. So if you use some extra speed, the, the, the object ball will go into the rubber a little bit and give you space to escape with your ball, with your cue ball. That one is going to slide past. But he nice nice safety shot, but Murat's ball is pretty close, so he might be able to find a solution here. This will probably be some sort of cross table, but there is a gap behind the yellow. Long, long, short, but I don't think he can play it with a high cue ball. I think this is missable. Yes, very. Try. No point, no fluke, and a good chance for Marco Zanetti. <laughs> yeah, he needed to play this ball a little bit deeper into the cue ball, but yeah, who can you know exactly how to play that shot? Still waiting for the match to really start. One. Good shot here from Marco. He knew exactly where the kiss was. Very close, but safe. I would go right side of the white here, mm. but I might be wrong. Well, thankfully, he does no, the same. This is this is the best way, and probably he can let the white go long, short, long, and s end up somewhere close to the same long cushion where he now scores. Gives the best chances for a position. It's all about recognizing patterns, shots that you've played before, and you remember what happens when I play this shot. Oh, that's that's the way, and use your memory, imagination. That looks short -ish. A little short, yes. This is no good. Wow, that is a mistake. First big mistake, I think. And that was a very good position, but yeah, he's he was trying to escape the kiss there. That's why he played thinner, but. So uh, far away from the kiss. As we said yesterday, he should have been closer to the kiss. Escaping it, but being closer to it. We had an exact example of that in the Jasper Bury match. Draw shot. Fly, fly disturbing. Or Zero. <laughs> ah, he touched the cue oh. ball. <laughs> that is so unfortunate when that happens probably we'll get a replay of that if they had it there yeah. it is Ooh, big, big touch, touch but amazing that he stopped his reflex to shoot you know <laughs> normally when you do that you shoot anyway in, in the next movement and again unlucky gave Marco a Good chance to start a run. Interesting to watch Marco's stroking. He he pulls back the cue the last time before shooting according to how much speed he's going to use. If he plays just a little short angle, he almost doesn't pull it back at all. And if he plays a 
heavy shot with lots of speed, he pulls it back like half a meter. So it's, it's all depending on how far the ball is going to go. This was like a 8-9 centimeter pullback. Good shot and no good result. Can still play four cushions here off the red, but it's not a sure point. He would have liked to have been a little bit shorter on this shot and make the point off the top side of the white, not the bottom side. At the same time, he wanted to avoid the kiss on the red, so he, he wanted to stay as long as possible on that shot. <laughs> yes, you sometimes need to do all sorts of things at the same time. Uh, it's, it's very conflicting. Many things you have to keep in your mind. There he took care of the red, so now he cannot score from behind, has to score directly. And he does. I think I've heard Marco say one time that you have these shots that are, they have eight aspects and if you get seven of them right you've missed. Yeah. But on the other hand we have several shots where you get seven of them wrong and you still have and the you point. Still make so the point. You know, wrong speed, wrong hit, wrong amount of English, but position is that good, you make it anyway. Oh, that is a little bit unlucky. He had two chances there, score off the red or score off the white, and he was exactly in between. That's sometimes a curse when you have too much choice. It's better you have only one chance on this one because then you you're not gonna you're not gonna miss in the middle. That's something I've heard Jasper say on one occasion, and I thought it was very funny. He said about a certain position. Now, if it's a little more difficult, it would have been a lot easier. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised it comes from him, but <laughs> funny. And he was absolutely right. But yeah. he was he was dead serious yeah, when he, he said it. Serious. He didn't ma say it as a joke. No, no, yeah? no. It was absolutely he was just discussing the position he said if the cue ball was a little bit more difficult it would have been a lot easier yeah i'm a fan of easy positions so I, I will not agree with him i like easy positions like one that you can close your eyes and still make round the table for zanity nice target here wow. in the corner don't play too fast, and they might back up out of the corner. Zanetti is building up a lead that means something. Nothing really happening for Choklu so far. Marco is also a little bit, I mean, still young, but not, not one of the youngest. Actually, the oldest. Come on, he's almost 60. Yeah. But uh, I was referring to his uh, yeah, starting abilities. He's a little slow starter sometimes, but it seems like whatever, however he starts, he always have, has 40 in, in, in less than 20 innings. Even with a slow start like today, he was like seven in seven in seven or seven in six or something. Slow start yesterday yeah. as well against Legaspi. Yes, and then he had 14, 18 or, or even less, suddenly. And can always rely on his runs coming. He's going to pass over the red here. Yes, with a curve, and these always end up short, yes. That is one of the most difficult yeah. curves to, to master. All these shots come short, so difficult. Look at this huge curve. Just before hitting the second rail, that's why it comes up so short. And he knew instantly that he had made it short. Big target wow. for Zanetti. He's never going to miss that one. Yeah, it had a little hole. He had to be precise. We are very small. On the screen, it looks very small. On on 
in real, it looked bigger. What's this going to be? Yes, I was going to ask you, what is he going to play here? Yeah, this is my, my uh, exhibition position. I go follow through on the white, long, long, pass the red and score from the short. But he can still get it on five cushions. Could have. Big stroke, big effort, no point. Uh, if we see that again, you can see <coughs> how he pulls back his cue when he needs full speed. Yes, look at this. All the way back, boom, he comes from 30 centimeters or less or more. Couldn't control the white here. Of course, always very wild. Murat struggling. He has to make this, I feel. Otherwise, the Italian will run away with the pizza. Good shot. Very important one. Got into the second ball well. Needed a lot of resistance there. Needed a heavy draw when he hits that much of the red ball. Probably wanted to hit a little bit thinner. Five cushions with reverse or short, long, short? Five cushions with reverse. That looks long, but it isn't. Two. I was expecting a little more slide on the last long rail. Obviously, Murat knew that the table is this short. Getting shorter. Yeah, he judged it nicely. I think it's his first match on that table. Could it be? It certainly would have been long during the World Cup, let's say, 10 days ago. That yes. would not have had a chance. I had my first match there and the table was playing really long, so you're right about that. And he finds the hole. Two. Things are not working out yet for Murat Choklu. And Zanetti is not playing fantastically well, but he does enough. He has a lead, 12 to 20. can't really judge his form by the points on the scoreboard because he's uh, he's never far away from a you know 11 run or something and if you add that it's 31 in 13 so it's going to come I feel white ball flying over the table just short Zero. just not couldn't get the length into it another example of he played on a frozen ball he's not really frozen but full ball and no double kiss almost made it second ball was jumping even yeah that was full speed and even the player was jumping he will also join the what did i call it the butterfly positioning league yes. he never seems to get it in the middle now this time Murat avoids the hole makes the point and maybe he can get something going off of this shot. He would have played four rails a week ago from that position. Yeah, I actually I prefer thin hit with maximum spin. And this half hit with speed control is not so easy, but for him no problem. Okay. Good shot here. A little bit unlucky how he hits the red. That is not how you want it to be, but it's, it could have been worse, let's say that. The curse of putting one object ball In deep a into a corner. Yes. Can't use it for anything now. Has to find a way to avoid the kiss here. Could be long, yes. Spinning too much. But this might end up in some kind of diagonal misery taking advantage of the yellow ball Marco's cue ball position is of course no good for this shot normally he doesn't mind he's one of the one of the players who can play the same shot with a cue ball on the cushion like if it was in the middle of the table Jaspers is another one of those I am not, and Martin Horn is also not. 
doesn't really enjoy his cue ball on the cushion. This looks like a very defensive shot, but it does leave a chance for Joe Clue. Very makeable double the rail. It wasn't that far away. It was a pretty good attempt. Good speed control. And this is a good chance actually. It's a bad position, but for players of this caliber, it's just a chance. Very slow, very slow. Wow, he didn't attack it enough. You don't need any cue power for that shot. Just some quality stroke. An English. Uh, just he didn't do enough, Joe. Too slow. Needed just a couple of kilometers per hour more than that. Under one average, no way he can win the match like this, so something has to come. But he is only six points behind. With an inning to go for Marco Zanetti. Who Playing could maybe add a few. Buri style here in the last second. And he's found Zero. the hole, the backup. There was not a double chance, not at that speed. Probably didn't really make up his mind there if he was going to play three or five, but that's just specula speculation, of course. Long, long, short, long. Need to hit that yellow perfectly. He's going for the three rail option, finds it. That's why he's in the semi final and I'm not. Probably much more easy like that than <laughs> going for cushions. But there's no reward for Joklu. Not whatsoever. Made a good shot and has a horrible Nothing position. Here. Can he can he follow through the red? Two times long cushion and lots of spin out of the corner. No, he can't. He goes. Ooh, this is hard. Long, long, short. Wow. Not bad. If Not he bad. Makes that. No, it doesn't make oh it. But oh, he doesn't make it. But what a good try. Good, at good attempt. And this is this is. I remember this more or less same with uh, against uh, against Eddie Merckx. So many times I I had a position where where I knew if I if I miss everything will be open for my opponent. And this happens here and with a with a good opponent like these players all are. You risk receiving a huge run. Marco's chance for a huge run here kind of vanished. This is very difficult. Needs to take care about the red ball and score, find that white ball. I think he tried to navigate the red inside. Inside the white, yeah, yes. between white and cushion. Oh. And, and that shows you that how difficult that shot was because Super that's not ambitious. something that you do, uh, I mean, voluntarily. Wonderful position here for Choklu. Oh, what happened? Oh, no referees. Medical timeout for the referee. Ah, ball cleaning device. Referee seems okay. Even Zanetti is looking for stuff in his bag. Pen. It's not a pen. Oh, uh, we need a, a pencil just to it's mark, food. mark the balls. Mark was going for food. Yeah. 
What is that in English? Traubenzucker? Yeah, that's a good question. Dextro something? Uh, Dextro energy, they call it. This looks like a two cushion first on the red, actually, to me. Now Murat Choklu will think I'm not playing fantastically well so far, but I'm only six points behind. Not a lot has happened yet in this match. If he avoids the hole, he has this. Yeah, he gets a good wow. position. And he has a chance. But this is th this is the worst good position I can imagine. So nice, you can't miss it, but where do you put the red? The worst nice position. Yeah, That's this is so nice. I mean, you can't... Your cue ball will always go to the corner there. Ah, he played thin with spin. Made it. But look at this. Yeah, this is not good. Oh, this, ay, 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 ay. this is a problem. Can he go cross table? No, it, everything will kiss there. Can he go double the rail? Ultra thin. But red is frozen. I know. No, it's not frozen. We see the shadow there. It's not frozen. Okay, then he can play short, long, short, off the red, very thin. Looks like he's aiming with a lot of English there. But it's good. Nice. Very delicate, very precise. Great shot by Murat Choklu. And now, this doesn't look like my favorite natural. Kubo will be jumping now. Extremely important to hit the red correctly. Oh Very good. How did he do that? What a quality, what a stroking quality. Fantastic. <laughs> that was about three times more difficult than it looked. Ah, that's these, these stroking masters. They make it look so easy. So straight and so smooth. Another similar shot here. A little easier than the other one. Perfect. Double kiss. Five. Get the white out. Now, How's unfortunately, the red goes down. How's your Aye. luck? Oh, the red passes. You didn't want that. And yellow very deep in the corner. It was already deep in the corner, and afterwards it's even deeper. That's unlucky. Now, is there a short, long, long into the red? There sure is. And these cushions are very, very quick. You always risk ending up short here. He knows, of course, so he adjusts. <laughs> Beautiful. Going from problem to problem here, the Turk, solving one after another. Yes, and we have a tie, 21-21. This is not like your pickup run where you make five, six points with little effort. This is one difficult shot and then another difficult shot. And now three times long cushion. No, it's gone, I think. And place it softly. He, he's no. speculating Next. here that Marco will get a bad position. Otherwise, you, you shoot this a little faster and, and yeah but then you leave everything open that was never going to be easy had to play it with a little draw obviously he cannot play three cushions off the right side of the red he's looking at other options Is you could go short, on? long, short to the big white ball, but that looks a little kissy. Yeah, but I think he can double the red, you know? Long cushion, double the other long the cushion, way. and then the other side of the white yes. coming back. I think that's, that's the, the best best option. So kind of a half half follow here, not really draw. Ah, he kept the red on that side. That is dangerous. He should have doubled it. Maybe it wasn't even possible in another way. I thought it was. It looked kissy all the way. So we could say that it was a smart, smart choice by Choklu to play that last shot softly. 
with a very small chance of scoring. Sometimes maybe you have to play like that. And I think for the first time we'll see Choklu in the lead. He had the lead in the first inning. But not since then. No, he, he also had the lead 9-7. But after that, Marco took over a little bit, but never really accelerated. It's kind of like the brakes are still a little bit on. And of course, it's the semi-final of a world championship. These players are not playing for average here. They're playing for a spot in the final. That's all that counts. Yes, and this. Will it reach? Oh, yes, yes. it does. I was just going to say that's, that's the worst thing you can do in this game, to play a shot perfectly and, and too soft. Important little, little touch there and... Speed on this one? No, he plays it softly and then he needs so deep in the corner. If he plays extra speed, he doesn't need exactly in the corner, he has more margin. Missed that by too much, you could say. Yeah, he wanted to keep the speed down for defensive reasons. He was about a diamond away from his aiming point on the first rail, so that was not a good shot. Seven cushions? Six, maybe? Avoids the kiss. And he has the line, and he has the point. This is so good. And so behind the red is, of course, not perfect. White is in a pretty awkward position. You might be able to play long, long short here, off the right side of the red. First takes a look on the other side of the red, so the other shot might not exist. This will be left hand English, long, long, mm. short, didn't play for this long route, he played three rows. Another example of a shot that he might have made if he would have had 40 seconds because that's the shot where you don't you don't take a timeout because you can take six timeouts and it still stays it's still as difficult it's as so after difficult. the first yeah. timeout but you need aiming time yeah or maybe just walk around the table and take a second look that might help you sometimes this one is also far away Dick, Dick talks about pre-strokes. He says, sometimes I know I need more pre-strokes and I don't have the time. Mm. Yeah. Because Dick, of course, is a player with tremendous feel for difficult lines and he's trying to sense if he needs to do a little more or has already found the correct point. Yeah, anyway, that's when you are, when you are doing your pre-strokes the last thing you need is, is the clock ticking. So, I mean, you need to actually be far away from the last second. Except for Buri, of course, he loves the last second. Good try again oh. here from Marco. What a shot. Fantastic. <laughs> Made the line there with minimal English. Didn't load up the cue ball at all. He just let it roll. And this is why he gets the favorable line out of that very deep corner. Great judgment. <laughs> Longish. Just out of the kiss and Maybe. didn't find wow. the line. So this is a close match, a tense match. Not a super high quality match, it's 23 to 23 in 19. And it's anybody's guess who will be in the final. It's nice because now they're playing a match to 27. First, first to 27 from now. 
I think somebody's going to run away with it in the second half with a run of 11. But I don't know who it is. And I think we can forget what I said, that Marco always has 40 points in 20 innings, uh, no matter how he starts. That would be a miracle. Flat, flat three cushion here of the yellow. No, he looks like he's playing six or seven from the red. This is short oh. and kiss. Oh. It's not short. No, it's good. But so close to the kiss. Why did he play that shot? He also had a two cushion bank shot on the yellow to play. And he didn't play this for position. He played this because he thought it was the best way. Look at that, almost taking the kiss. Strange. This has some... Oh, he's going for us. Yeah, he can he do. going he's up and down. He can defense. just dive into the corner there, even slowly. No. And now it by a lot. Try to freeze both, both balls on the long cushion. Ooh, that is no fun. Good luck, break Marco time. Zanetti. We have a short break in this match. We'll be back with you in a couple of minutes.
Good afternoon, Three Cushion fans. We are back for the second half of the first semi-final in the 73rd World Championship. This match is between Murat Nacicoglu and Marco Zanetti. And it's a difficult, a slow match. Nobody has been able to make a big run yet. It's 25 points to 23 in favor of the Turk. And Torbjörn, and of course I'm referring to Torbjörn Blondahl. Torbjörn, have your predictions changed at all? You thought Marco would be the favorite in this match and also the favorite for the world title. Yes, it looks like I have no idea about Billiards because he does not look like a contender for the title right now in this match, but also you could say the same about Choklu, both players not really not firing on Look. any cylinders at all actually. But this is the strange thing about Billiards, it can change. They can play a poor semi-final and a brilliant final. It's quite possible. Yeah, one thing is sure, one of them will be in the final. And no, of but course. It's like, for me, it's, it feels like a lottery right now. It's just, it's 26, 23, that means you have a match here. T one guy needs 24 and the other 27, it can go quickly. It can be depending on just one or two lucky breaks. A but good roll of the ball. And they don't have. And they don't There are no, go no good rolls here. This is a nice try, maybe short. Very difficult shot, misses Two. it. One. Very close, that was one of the best shots in the match and, and not a point. Marco has all the experience, of course. He's not going to be bothered at all by a low average. That's not what he's playing for. He's playing for a place in the final. He's playing for a third world title. He's won it in 2002. He's won it in 2008. And this one is just long. What was he looking for there? That one was far away. We will get a second look. It's like half a centimeter away, I guess. Good chance for Murat. Marco has not been scoring at all here the last few innings. He had the lead and I remember it was 21-15 or maybe even 21-13. I something. think I said six, six points, 21-15. Mm. Has That's that scored. Murat found a nice run of six there with the some difficult shots, some oh. stroking shots. I think there were three very difficult shots in that run. But they that's for us. For him it's not difficult, these, these shots that you need to score perfectly. For him that's easy. Is this long enough? Oh yes. That's good. And he hits the sugar side of the red, but the yellow is in the wrong spot, so it doesn't help, doesn't bring him anything. Imagine the yellow into the corner. It's just a little slow here. Another stroking shot. Cueing ability on a scale from 1 to 10. He's a 10. He just hits these balls nicely. Very sweetly. As if they're easy. They're not. Great shot. And does he have a chance here for short, long, short? I think a run of 5-6 would be enough to already put some pressure on Marco Zanetti. I think he's under pressure already because he must feel, must feel like he was the favorite going into this match. Good shot again from Chocli. Very slow and keeps position. Four. Now look at this face. Wow. Full concentration, not afraid. For him, this is this is a golden opportunity. Nobody says that he's a favorite here. It's 
spins the ball here. Yellow needs to touch the short, doesn't. Uh, but he touches touches the red in the perfect spot. This is a good chance for him to run away. Pull the brakes on the cue ball there. And that is the nice golden hit on the nice red there. Nice touch on the red. Now slowly to the yellow. No ball can be frozen to the cushion after this shot. He misses it almost. No, he, has it. he has it. That was the wrong side, wrong side of yellow. Now he has a problem. Now he can draw this in probably with no kiss. Left side of the yellow. Should make this. Yeah, he's going to shoot it, I think, hard. Just stop the cue ball. Not enough. Uh, he has it. Nice. Seven. So it was easier than it looked like. The position it's was it's just a little push, yeah. required a little push. What they call eclat de bille was enough yeah. to make the cue ball short. And it's definitely advantage Turkey now, with Italy struggling. This looks a little long. Yeah. Choklu, seven. A run of seven gives Mura Choklu a 33-23 lead over Marco Zanetti. He delivers the first punch in the second half of the match. And Marco Zanetti needs to get to work. Looks like he's going to play another one of those long, long short. Seems like that's the only shot he's playing in this part of the match. Says something about his positions. Not a bad attempt, but he misses. But he felt it immediately. Did, yes. did you see his body reaction? Yeah. He immediately felt it was... It was short. A little bit too much... Too much power or too deep in the cue ball. Hasn't left anything easy for Choklu. But this is again one of... This is his shot. Just a complete stroking shot. Put some left English and shoot hard as hell. Three long cushions. Big speed. <coughs> Not enough. It's falling down to the short cushion. Maybe that would have been his best chance to play long, long, short, long. Yeah, but you don't do that from down there. I know. You always try to get it on three cushions or one more long cushion, so four maybe. But from that distance, you need to play almost like something that looks like a draw shot, but you cannot really draw because then the ball comes back, so it, it's, it's complicated. Good chance for Marco, he makes those normally. One. Now, did he just play draw there? I don't know. Draw and nothing else? Difficult to see. He's like a table tennis player. He's he's kind of disguising his uh, the way he hits his the English. Cue yeah. yes. Makes a little curve with the cue after striking the ball and difficult to know what he's doing. Really, he has a lot of different kind of stroking patterns. hit there on the good side of the white the other side of the white he would have had a horrible position somebody I know calls it the sugar side nice I expression that was the first time I used that word I, I'm not sure it's, we'll it's relevant but we'll keep that in feels like it it's a nice addition to the billiard vocabulary to hit the shot on the sugar side of the of the third ball this is a semi-natural it needs a push. Ooh, Cannot just roll it short. Oh, must be good. It wasn't. 
and not such a good position. You, that's the position where you cannot just roll it. You need to to just push it a little bit, and it was not enough. Desperately close. Ooh, nice camera angle there. That little clapping sound you hear from time to time, that's not applause from the spectators, that's commentators fighting mosquitoes. We probably have the most delicious blood in this room, so we attracted all the mosquitoes. That's very strange, because what we were drinking yesterday, I can't imagine our blood is delicious today. All that fruit juice. Desperately difficult what Choklu attempted to do there. Played Choklu off zero. a ball that was frozen Second to the short rail off. and he wanted to go short, long, long and avoid the kiss and find the line. Very ambitious. But he went away from the red ball. He didn't play red because that was too complicated. And this is an excellent chance for Zanetti. Positioning. He'll be happy with this. Positions are opening up for Marco now. Choklu has to finish quickly now because I think the match might just turn. Played that very slowly, Marco. One. And it drifted shorter and shorter. And but he has the point. Why did he not play the five rail on the turbine? Yeah, I could have. It wasn't there. Could have played the backup maybe, but I don't know. It's the yellow, the white was exactly in the line of the corner, so. Maybe there was no good five rail. No, but I mean, this was easier because all everything that's in exactly the line of the corner, you, you just play it. That's the first thing you learn how to, to get your cue ball to a corner. Two. Two thin hits. Will those two thin hits turn this match around? Could be. Very nice position now from red. Did he really want to avoid a kiss like that? If so, that was brilliant. This looks like four rails off the red. It is four rails off the red, but you can't give maximum. If you play maximum English, you will be too short. So you have to take away just a little bit. And that is so hard. Just maximum English, but not maximum English. He finds it. He finds it. But he leaves the red Three. in the wrong spot. Can he see both sides of the red? No way for us to see from here. Mm, looks like he can see. Yes, he's going long, short, long here. It's a big difference, the fact that he can see the red. Timeout. Four, no timeout. And the 10 point gap that Murat Choklu created is vanishing. Marco in control again, at least of the table. That's just routine for him to make that point and to create position. Look what a nice result. Took some time, but finally it opened up here. Now he will he will just score. And Murat has to hur really hurry up. When he gets the ball, Marco, when he gets the ball into these positions. He is very dangerous. Run of six. So we're almost back to all square. Two more points and we're playing a match to 17. It's not a match, that's a set. Maybe in the end we will have a match to one. That's possible. Seven. Ooh, lucky break there. Balls kissing together. 
and staying absolutely perfect tick tick and the next cannot be missed at least I think so Oops, there is a corner. Eight. Play that with extra speed just to bring the white over. And it's a good result. Here we are, 33-33. But it's Marco at the table. Finds a very small hole there. Disappointment. Yeah, that is of course something that you don't need in the World Championship semi-final. Just when it everything opened up. Cross table for Joku. Ooh, what has he done? What has he done? He has missed Choclo, zero. a very good opportunity here. The shot he should have made. Instead, he's leaving the Italian with a rail first with a bank shot. And I think he's odds on to make this. One. No way to control position, of course. When you play bank shots. think he can score off the white so I was thinking the same thing he needs to come in off the red he does oh yes. perfect so Netti in the lead again in one inning the game has changed completely two good bank shots here from the Italian Choclo had a 10 point lead it's gone Tried to go long, long. Mm. I thought he was going to go up and down with no Two. English, but he tried inside. Uh, long, long, long. Watching the balls. I think he knew what might happen after this shot. These are the positions that you really love when the opponents have them I can be made I wouldn't know what to play he's playing mm -hmm. a very difficult ticky it looks like the only thing you can play here I guess ticky on the yellow if you just hit it half ball it has a good chance half ball meaning one third of the ball or two thirds of the ball is also okay but always difficult when the cue ball is closer to the cushion than the object ball. No systems for this sort of shot. This is pure feel. Can still go. Oh. A little bit of luck. I think he'll be happy with the way he hit it because he hit it pretty well. Look, this is just the sort of Three contact he, he was looking for. So a good shot, but a little luck involved in making it. Mm, he can 
can see the yellow, but I'm not sure that does the five cushion exist. Yellow ball will not kiss. Ah, it gets away from that. Very nice. That's a good shot. He made it look so easy again. Like it, like it's no problem at all. And here's the reward. Mm. This is a excellent opportunity off the left side of the yellow. We're going tit for tat now. Choco had the lead. And we have Sanetti a set. overtook him. We have a 15 point set now to be played. 35 35. 36 35 now for the Turk. And that set is going to decide about a place in the final of the World Championship. And about a lot of ranking points. Because a silver medal at the World Championships is worth more than a win in a World Cup. Slightly more. shot again here he brilliantly put the red into the corner long cushion first can never go to short cushion then he always kisses the yellow away good control now a little ball cleaning again a very smart move but it is the red ball as we have noticed there are very few bad contacts on the red ball And that has nothing to do with the color. It just has to do with the fact that chalk marks will be on the player's balls more often than on the yellow. On the other hand, watching snooker on TV, they have lots of bad contacts. And they only have one cue ball, so... I might be wrong there, but... It seems like chance for a butage is always greater but you know, a minimal piece of chalk in snooker is much larger relative to the size of the ball. So maybe they are in more danger of having butages because of little chalk marks. Good shot here. Red ball going to the wrong cushion. I should have gone to short cushion first would maybe have been better, but this is still very good. Run of five by Choklu. Three point lead, 38-35. Chooses to go from yellow here. Some options from red too, I guess, but there are no kisses on this shot, so this is probably a very good choice. He misses it, but he misses it by a long Set way. But there is at least a good chance that he will return to the table soon. Sanetti needs something superb here to find the fence or to make the point. One of the two. Seven cushions, really? Or is he going long, long short? He's jacking up a little bit, raising the butt, so I think he was trying considering to long, trying long, to escape, short. But trying to escape the timeout, last second. No. Now he should maybe take a second look. Ooh. Tried the seven wow. rail. He went in front. Wow. He went in front of the white. And he finds the empty seven. corner. Zero. Still a very good hit Zero. from that cue ball position. Yes. Good safety shot, as we can expect, expect from the Italian. Marco, I know him well. He's, he's actually not a fan of the Italian defensive football <laughs> playing style. <laughs> but yeah, how they call it? Catanaccio. Catanaccio, yeah. Catanaccio. But he's, he's good at it uh, in billiards. Of course. He's good at everything in billiards. Murat. Is there a kiss? From corner to corner here. Ah, oh, he's not lucky. Chop. Zero. How expensive will that be? Yeah, Marco can't see the white here, so he needs to play something off the red, which is not, not very easy. He's looking at draw shot here to the long cushion. Left English. Long, short, long. 
needs to hit that fin so with extra draw so it will curve curve before before touching the first cushion that was the curve slows down fantastic shot one and perfect position wow could not have been played better than that What a result. Thin here, yes, before the red. A little bit on the long side. Now that is extraordinary One. to see. Marco Zanetti missing. A shot like that. Uh, he's sarcastically applauding himself. Uh, too thin there. Never got it short enough. That was, of course, a huge mistake. But he had he had to use a long bridge there and and kind of got got the shot away pretty quickly. This one is short enough. Joker wow. says thank you. But he buries the white, the yellow under the cushion. He would so much have had the yellow 5, 10, 15, 20 centimeters under the, the cushion. Just to play so from much the nicer. red. I still expect him to make this. Doesn't like it. No, I think I think he's right. Yeah, it will slide away when you hit it even a millimeter too thick. So time out for Choklu protecting a two point lead. It's gonna be cross table. Looking good. Good decision, good shot by the Turk. A very brave decision because did he know that the yellow was not fast enough to disturb? Probably he knew. 40 36. Nothing you could do to calculate those kisses, you feel if it's in the kiss or not. Not playing five cushions here. Plays four. Wow. Needs the yellow to get out of the way. And uses does the speed to lengthen Fantastic this shot. shot. <laughs> and you play that shot slowly here. The cue ball has almost no spin when it comes to the third cushion. It kind of loses the spin and comes long out of the corner. Judge that perfectly and he has a good chance here. It's a little bit early to say, but it could be the sort of shot that wins you a match. Yeah, combination in combination with the cross table shot he played before. Those two. Another four railer. Yeah, this is not easy. Looks long. Same thing happens there. Cubo loses the spin. Choke. Three. It just leaves a bank shot, but it's not one of the most difficult ones. He can hit everywhere on the white to make the point. Everywhere on that side of the white ball. If he goes the short route, he'll need to reach Marco. He goes bank shot three rails to the white. No, he's he has no problems reaching pretty tall and very long arms. He never has a problem to get there. Made that one yeah. very confidently quick. Marco is always strong when it gets important in the end of the matches. He's always there. And you need to be able to forget about your stupid mistake. He did something almost unforgivable. Yes, I was going to explain that. In the last inning, but he, didn't, he doesn't let it eat away at him. 
No, he had a he had a he was forced to to use a very long bridge on that one, and maybe it was not such a bad shot in the end. You can miss stuff like that, so it's you can easily forget it. I, I think. Just go on, continue. Nice shot here. Played the short angle instead of the four cushion. Do you think the player wins who takes the best decisions or who strokes the ball better? Oh, that's strikes like strikes the ball better. Maybe. Chicken and egg question. Oh yeah, what was first? Bravo. Oh, he loses position. Ouch, 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 oh ouch. Look at that white ball. Very unfavorable spot. Yeah, the biggest problem is the yellow, I think. Because with the yellow free out on the table, you could still play something off the white, maybe short, long, long. But with that cubo position, that is a horrible position. Maybe he has to shoot something. If he makes this, he deserves a round of applause. I don't care how he makes it. If he makes it, he should get applause. And he was close. But how lucky, how lucky was he there? He, he touched the white, but he did not take it away from the cushion. But yeah, that doesn't matter now, because Murat only has a bank shot anyway. Actually, he was unlucky too there. He could just just as well had had a fluke there. Could have been worse for uh, Choklu. Yeah, this is a good chance. Could have been a position where he didn't even have a bank shot, and he has one cannot use full spin here then it would be too short might be too short anyway no it's good Ooh, he makes it it's good. Oh, that's the kind of result that wins you matches yeah uh, marco is is smiling oh, big marco smile on his face marco will be gutted to see this happen yeah this is pure luck of course that he gets this chance but he has to make it you know otherwise it's worth nothing and this worked out so nice for Chopu. Perfect. And that is the way you want to push the red ball in front when you play the yellow to the corner. That is something that does not uh, always work out well, but it did in this time. At this time, still too early to say, but it could be the inning that wins him a place in the final. Looks like he's playing three cushions here. Oops, 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 oops. Is that really long enough? He wanted to hit the other side of the yellow there to be perfect for the next shot. Can he push this into the red and play four rails? Very nervous wife. Yeah, it's uh, tough days for ML. That is so hard. It's much better to play. This doesn't look no, very looks nice. Oh, it looks looks like down. the hole. That was always the danger in that shot. Uh, it's something that you shouldn't do against Marco. Give him a chance like that. 44-39. We are in the final stages of this first semi-final. Only six points for the Turk, but Sanetti is only 11 away. Could be one, two, three innings. Marco senses, senses the opponent's weakness, so he will, he will watch what you are doing. And when he sees some mistakes, he is ready to bite, but and this, this one time. slides by. You are not seeing the best Marco Zanetti today. He has been so impressive throughout the tournament. And today, after a very difficult start, many bad positions, game opened up after the break. But he's not scoring as heavily as we are used to seeing. He played high averages in the World Cup as well, not just in this One. World Championship. Got eliminated by Dick Jaspers in a tense 
close match, but I think he may be over two average for the fortnight for the two weeks. Marco Zanetti played very impressive three cushion. So, did you check yesterday about Martin Horn if he has ever been in a semi final in the world championship? I forgot. I, I, I also had no forgot. I had no internet and then I gave up. So the same question for Choklu. Has he ever been in a sem in a final in a final of a world championship? No. Semi final? Is this his first? I would have to check and again. We are I lazy. Tried, we are lazy no journalists. We could have asked. Oh, would have been no so easy. I had no internet, so players are here. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need fewer mosquitoes and more internet in Sherman's Jack. I talked to Martin, but I actually forgot to ask him if it's his first. I, I think it's his first semi-final. Oh, this is nice. Did he make this? Left-handed, looking good. So that's only three points left, and the big favorite, Marco Zanetti, would be out of the event. If Choklu can make three points, it's over. Yeah, this is actually a perfect position for if you need three. Just a three cushion here slowly to the yellow. I think the position will will make itself. I don't think Choklu will crack. I don't think the nerves will <laughs> get the better of him. I think he will be calm. He even has options here. He has a fantastic temperament. As Torbjörn says, he can always hit the ball straight. Yeah, his mechanics are always working. Just a little thin here, but Ooh. he missed it. That's Ooh. a mistake. Too thin. That is a mistake. Can Marco take advantage? Surprising mistake there from Choklo. That's very surprising. Was it his last shot? He had a margin there. He had a fairly easy shot. And he messed it up. He just misjudged it. 11 points for the Italian. But good. a good position to start with. Very good. Well. He doesn't get a good hit on the white there. This will complicate the things. This is one time where you didn't want to hit thin on the second mm -hmm. object ball. Many Quite. times that gives you the positions, but... Not this time. It's still good enough. Just a little thin here on white. Oh, it's still very good. I thought it looked worse. That was not very thin. And has he drifted this long? No, no he, he has, still it. has it. Two. And he has left a draw shot. Good chance, but I I would recommend that he finishes here in this inning. Well, if your opponent is on playing for two, yes, that would be good advice to finish here. So I, I had some help from my friends. Thank you, Norbert. Just informed me on a text message that the, the it is the first semi-final for Martin in the World Championship. Good. So now we know that. I really appreciate viewers and listeners interacting. Is Marco going to go rail first round the table? Or maybe uh, off the red round the table. That's what he does. Very, very slow. Very slow. No, 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 no. You can't do this, Marco. Not 30 centimeters too soft. Zanetti, three. That is, you have to say, a poor shot. Mm. 
And that is all that Murat Nachi Choklu wants. A chance. A chance to finish it. Does he have a timeout left? Probably does. He has one more, but this is not the shot where you need to take a timeout because like or else some, to the red. some players have mentioned some shots, the longer you look at them, the more difficult they get. So He has it. Match point. Murat Nachi Choklu. For the biggest final of your career against either Martin Horn or Dick Jaspers. Only this point and he should really make it. He's going to play four rails, left side of the red. I think all our, our viewers are waking up all over the world. And Thank he's you. played it into the kiss. My goodness, Shot. that's the one thing he should not have done to create that kiss. Say thank you to Gökhan Salman for informing us that it will be the first World Championship final for Murat if he qualifies. We don't know if we still don't know if it's his first semi-final, but what a chance he had there! Too much ball, and he got the kiss. An extra chance here for Marco. Very good shot. Fantastic shot. <laughs> Nerves wow. of steel, the Italian. If you get one chance and you need eight points, it feels a little bit better than if you need 11. Yes. You know, it's just one digit. It feels three points better. At least. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like when, when something costs 9.95, you, you would like, you would buy it. When it costs 10.15, you mm -hmm. say, ah, it's too expensive. Yes. Bridging over the white. I'm surprised he doesn't play angle. the draw shot of the white here. Uh, but it's good. There he, he has that. Made a little gesture. Did I have? Well, of course you had it. And look Perfect at the result. Position. He is going to be happy with this one. So we have seen some things that shouldn't happen here. Marco played a shot much too soft. Murat took a kiss on the match point. Things shouldn't happen. It could still go either way. It's 49-44. The Italian needs six. Correction. He needs five. Three. Wrong hit on the white there. No good position. Very thin on the red. He's. I think he's going for it. It's not super thin. Uh, he hasn't made up his mind. Still has two timeouts. Might invest. I think he'll go left side of the red. For he the three doesn't rail. know. He doesn't know yet. Don't rush this. Take the timeout. One second left. Ooh. And very, very soft. So Perfect. Good. Perfect. Oh, is this going to be heartbreak for Murad Nachichoglu? Will he remember that kiss for the rest of his life? I fear that will be the case. Five cushions now. Scoring from behind on the right. Almost guaranteed a playable position if he makes it. He's a little too close to the white for comfort. Might still be okay. But he needs only three now. Everything can he go around the table behind the red? It's all depending on if he can escape the red. Can he go behind the red? Can he go in front of the red? I can't see. We need a, an exact picture of uh, the angle between the yellow and the white. We will have some time here to figure out what he can play. My goodness, what an exciting finish this match gets. It could be, as they say in pool, hill, hill. We Both might players needing one. We might get 
get to the point where we have a race to one. But I think if Marco makes the point number 49, I think the number 50 will be an easy one because his position play is, is always going to be good, even in these tense situations. Now, everything depending on how he can avoid the keys. Now he's playing red. Short, long, short. Dick Jasper's shot. Didn't make it. So and there's a Bye. sigh of relief from all of Turkey. But look at the way he put the red into the cushion. That was lucky. On top of everything, white and yellow are still are already in a bad position and the red goes to the cushion. That was lucky here. Marco got away with that. Heroic attempt here from Murat to play this one very deep into to the corner with a curve. Very complicated shot. Little curve, and he makes it wow. so nice. <laughs> what a Bravo, Murat Matichoglu. The Fritz Marcos in it, 50 points to 47. And there are the congratulations. 32 innings, the Turk is in the final. And the favorite, Marco Zanetti, is out in another semi. One of many for him. That was really exciting here in the end. And, and what a typical way to finish the match for Murat. A typical stroking shot decides the match. And he played it beautifully, you have to say. He couldn't hit that any better. We will be back in a matter of a few minutes with the second semi-final between Martin Hogan and Dick Jaspers. See you.